for new people, I realize they are very confused. How can you ask me not to analyze and reason? To them, analysis is very well. To them, it's like investigation. Is it? The Buddha also talk about Dharma investigation. The investigation is different. The investigation is with the silent mind, with the awareness nature, uh, with that, that what they call uh, uh, the true nature that is silent, peaceful, quiet, and tranquil. Means that mind must be in the state of what they call creativity. Means it's in a quiet environment, quiet setting that is conducive. That it can reflect, it can contemplate, it can inquire. So you throw out the Dhamma and let that nature, the creative nature, understand. Then through its reflection and contemplation and recollection, then the understanding surface. And that one is not thinking. That one is not to the thought process, not reasoning, not analysis. It is inquiry. Why did the Buddha say that? I'm not trying to analyze whether the Buddha is right or wrong. I'm trying to find out the answer and to understand why the Buddha said birth is suffering. So you can see the difference, the big difference. So when you understand that, then you know Dharma investigation is contemplation and reflection. It's not analysis. Analysis is active thinking. Think a lot. Uh, reason. Uh, why like that? Why not like that? Uh, then compare, duality, all the views, the opinion, all coming. Whereas Dharma investigation is to investigate into the truth, the reality, the universal characteristic, the teaching, then understanding. So today I add in this part so that it become clearer. Huh? So all about cultivation is to realize that true mind, that true nature, the stability of it that has the ability to insight and awaken. So this teaching comes from that silent mind. So you have to go through that process to develop that understanding. 